Hello and welcome to my channel. It's been two weeks. Let's see how I've done. Welcome back and thanks for being here. I didn't really have a whole lot of time for recording any progress last week and quite frankly there just wasn't very much. Maybe uh, two pounds I think is what I lost last week. But since uh, two weeks ago I'll give you that report. Uh, in the past two weeks I have lost uh, five pounds and approximately 1% body fat. So my total weight loss at this point is just, it's like 29 pounds. I'm almost at that 30 mark. Uh, I am at uh, 210 pounds. Yesterday I weighed 209, so I was thinking, well, actually yesterday was 209, so then today is 210, so I'm at 28 pounds, not 29 pounds. Uh, BMI is around 28.8. So I'm still in that um, um, borderline between obese and, and overweight. I'm still on the line. My pants, I do feel them getting looser. And I, I'm not going to bother showing you anything this week. It's not really that fantastic. I forgot to measure my waist this morning. I think last week I shared, or two weeks ago I shared with you that it was at uh, 41 inches. And I'm pretty sure that it is still there. I'll, I'll measure again and I'll let you know. I'll flash it up here on the screen or something. And um, yeah, as my clothes continue to shrink, I realize that uh, I'm gonna have to shop for more than just pants. Um, the shirt that I'm wearing right now actually fits pretty well, these uh, office type shirts, but some of the, um, I, I like my shirts that fit a little loose, but now they're fitting even looser. So this one here fits all right. Some of my other brands are baggier, so I'll have to, I'll have to replace those. My T-shirts, um, I like to wear extra large t-shirts, but the ones that I've been wearing a lot lately are, they must size a little big because they're just getting baggier. T-shirts, I can probably get away with wearing baggy stuff. I kind of don't care. But the, uh, the stuff that I'd even think about, underwear. Oh my gosh, I never thought about the fact that I'd have to buy new underwear. I I'm not swimming in it yet or anything like that, but I can tell it's getting looser. And if my underwear is getting looser, then that means that my bicycling shorts are also going to be loose when I put those back on. Uh, it's winter time, so I can get away with wearing uh, loose bicycling shorts under my tights, which I'm going to have to replace those too. But I, I think I can get away with loose tights for a little bit. I'll be all right. So uh, uh, that's going to be in my budget once the weather warms up and it's time to get out on the bike full time. Now let me talk a little bit about some of the uh, foods that I've been trying, the new fuelings. Um, I can't remember if I told you that I got some cinnamon sticks. I kind of had eliminated snacks from my, um, uh, from my monthly fuelings, but I went ahead and tried the cinnamon sticks and I liked them well enough. I think all of these snacks are based off of a pretzel-like cracker of some sort and they taste okay. They taste, I'll say they taste good. I don't think I had any of them that I was just like, I didn't like those, uh, except for those tasty -os. Ooh, but one thing that I notice about the, the sticks, or any of them, they're not quite as portable as, a, as, say, a little bar, a little nutrition bar. And wow, they really suck the moisture right out of your mouth. So when you eat those snacks, uh, have that water available, right? You're supposed to be drinking more of it anyhow. I think I told you that I wanted to substitute more of these meals or more of these fuelings to be more like meals. And so I got um, some of the Optavia um, maple and brown sugar oatmeal and it's all right but let me tell you my first impression of that stuff uh, i went ahead and i ripped open the little bag and instantly i smelled that maple sugar it was really sweet smelling and then it disappeared it was almost like all of the maple and brown sugar was just in that little puff of, of dusty air or something and then it was gone after that all i could smell was ups and let me explain. How many times have you ever heard of a diet food tasting like cardboard? Well, I'm a, I shop at an online retailer and I get a lot of cardboard boxes in my house and I just couldn't help it. For that, everything after that instant, when I cracked open that bag and I smelt the maple sugar, then all I smelled was cardboard. It was unbelievable. And so the first bowl of it that I ate, um, I was really displeased with it. And I mean, I, I bought 14 little pouches of this stuff, so I was going to make it make a commitment out of it, make it go. Uh, that would have been two weeks of uh, breakfast. 
And now that I've eaten more of it, it's not as unappealing, but it's still, it's, gosh, you stir this stuff up and you look at it, it's like clumpy porridge or something. It's just, it's not that appetizing to me. It's tolerable and I will finish it. It's not as awful as it was the very first time I ate it, but um, yeah, I'm done with it. I think my favorite uh, breakfast-like food so far has been the pancakes. And I think I told you that I do those in the microwave and I uh, got the suggestion to just add a little bit of uh, sugar-free syrup on top to enhance the flavor a little bit and it doesn't really add any calories. And so I've been doing that and uh, I enjoy that. So I'm a I'm kind of a simpleton when it comes to my meals. I typically will eat the same thing every morning for breakfast and uh, my variety has always been at lunchtime and then usually something very similar every evening for dinner. Not a very uh, diverse person when it comes to doing my meals. Although preparing my own lean and green, I have diversified a little bit. The other uh, fuelings that I wanted to try out, the beef and garden vegetable soup. Um, I kind of didn't care for that the first time I ate it, but some of that I think is because I, maybe I didn't stir it up well enough because the, the each subsequent pouch of it that I had, I, I liked it better. Um, I've also had the hearty red bean and vegetable chili, and that stuff smells delicious as soon as you open it up, that chili powder that's in there. And I prepare that, and that's one of the things that I did like all the way from the get-go. Um, I have to laugh when I look at the picture of it. I, I have to admit I didn't count the beans in the picture, but in the picture you can see the beans and you can see the, the, you know, it looks like a chili and it looks delicious. And it is delicious, but there's really like, I don't know, like 11 or 12 beans in this thing. So uh, don't be fooled if you think you're going to get real bean chili, but it's 100 calories, right? They got to cut plate things someplace. I think it's 100, 100, 110, something like that. But I like it. I'm going to keep on getting more of that. That's my lunch. And uh, for lunches, so basically for my lunches, I'm having the, uh, the chili, the beef and garden vegetable soup, and the tomato um, uh, penne. So um, those, are, those are pretty much my staples for lunch every day. And then the evenings I will have, well, I still have the, uh, the smoothie or the shake before my commute home. And I'm trying a new uh, smoothie. This one is called the Yogurt Berry Blast. And uh, I really like that one too. The thing that I will caution you about on that is um, it has dehydrated fruit in it. And um, just shaking it up and slamming it is not enough time for that dehydrated fruit to soften up and be more fruity. So what I have to do is mix in the water, shake it up really well, and then probably let it set for five or 10 minutes, probably five minutes is enough. Then shake it again and then chug it because the uh, the fruit bits are a little tough if you don't give it time to um, to rehydrate. My lean and green, uh, I'm still doing mostly haddock, shrimp, and flounder, and um, spinach and zucchini for my vegetables. Yeah, I'm sticking to the program pretty well and I, I still think it's working for me. So I will take a waist measurement next time and we'll see if there's anything interesting for me to share next week. I don't think it's quite time to uh, get into my, my smaller pants yet, but I, I'm getting there. And so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, especially that 208. Once I get down to 208, I've only got two pounds to go. And I was so close yesterday, but then I kind of came back up. I fluctuate a little bit. You'll, you'll see in the graph. Um, my weight fluctuates. And once I get to 208, that's 30 pounds. That'll be kind of a sweet... Um, milestone for me 208 oddly enough is also my max allowable weight when i was on active duty and so that'll be that'll represent where i was before i retired and so that that's still overweight and borderline obese but at least it's a milestone that i can catch and then i still want to try to make my way down to uh to 180 at least below 190. We'll, we'll see how I feel and how my progress is going. Feel free to ask questions and comment. I'd love to hear from you. These are pretty much slow going videos. My channel's not very active, so I know there's not a lot of you out there watching at this point, but uh, maybe in the future, somebody will trip over this stuff and, and check it out. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Take care.